Hello, once again, everybody. Hyler Tamerly with another Obscurity in Miniature. Today, we're going to be digging back into the Dark Age line, and we have a Forsaken Warwind number one of one. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I'm a big fan of these figures that look like they can get a lot of usage in various game systems, and this guy absolutely is one of those. Now, again, this is one of the pre-cool mini figures. Didn't say anything about them on there. No, it is in Georgia. I think that's where Cool Mini's based. Base. And figure. So, what do we got with this guy? We've got a cocky, arrogant looking dude just sitting around posing as his cape billows in the wind. Now, this cape is going to be kind of a pain because, number one, there's a ton of flash and it's going to have to get cleaned up. And I'm not sure what direction, if it's supposed to be like flying up behind him as he's standing there, if it's just sticking out in the way and, you know, making a general nuisance of the tabletop. I'm not sure. Worst case, or it could just lay flat considering how straight his back is. I'm not sure. I think it goes out like that. So, I had to get this guy. I just liked him. Now, this is the old original pose, and I'm knocking his packaging off the table there um the newer poses are a lot more dynamic obviously but there's something about him here with his blades hanging off and he's not even bothering to fight he's just standing around nonchalant bored i like that so i'm going to go clean that cape off and see if i can figure out how to get him put together hopefully you'll stick around all right well we figured out the cape kind of billows out to the side and back on him like this but that's going to need some serious green stuff to fill in those gaps because they're ugly and I don't like it. It's also going to need something to keep this dude pinned on his base because he does not want to stay at all. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. He is giving me quite a hassle. But he does still hold up pretty decently compared to some of the more modern sculpts with Elijah there of the Forsaken as well, since they're both the same faction. Oh my god, did I get it to stay? Did I get it to stay? Oh, no, we didn't. I thought we did. We'll just hold him here to pretend like he is. Honestly, though, the way this guy's standing and the way he's dressed i think you probably could get away with using him in a fantasy game too and that was kind of my intention he seems like he would make a great ranger for a uh, rangers of shadows deep or even a Frostgrave captain or an inheritor or whatever they're called for a ghost archipelago he looks the leader type as he stands there confident and cocky that he's better than everybody else and i mean he, he's not like ridiculously larger than the gw stuff so I think you could get a lot of use out of him for whatever your gaming system would be. It's just getting him to cooperate with the base. I might pile some rocks up behind him or something because I feel like he's just going to be really lopsided in terms of weight distribution. Uh, maybe I'll put a washer or something underneath him. Something heavy to keep him down because I feel like the slightest movement is going to just have him flop over. Actually, you know what it's reminding me of is Fenris from War Machine in the Kador faction. The dude with the crazy flying cape with skulls attached to all the ends of it. And his swords stuck out of his side. He's another one with a billowy cape that did not want to cooperate. That was sticking up and required a bunch of green stuff to finally fix. Overall, I really like this figure. He's really cool. He's not as cool as the newer ones, but for the time that this guy was made, I want to say he was copyrighted about 2007 or so. So it's been quite a few years at this point, a good 10 or so. Uh, I think it still holds up, especially considering there's a lot of stuff that from that era does not. So overall, a nice little figure. I found him over the weekend. And with that said... I'm going to keep hunting for those obscurities and miniatures because that's what this channel is all about. This has been High Lord Tamerlane. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.